Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnix, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God. It was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God. And finally, after the worship of many gods, they conceived the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. Dot com. Well, I just got back from Roswell, where the aliens have been. And if you ask the feds the cause, well, they'll only lie again. Now I'm hunted by the gumshoes, and I'm wanted by the cops. Cause they think that I might be the guy Making circles in the crops And I know that there's a conspiracy From the voices in my head Elvis lives, that's clear to me It's McCartney who is dead And if the Mars man should come again And take me, I will go I will take a trip on their rocket ship God bless the UFO JFK, this message, it's the Cuban army's fault. And I know that Dave Koresh is alive inside a vault. We've seen reports in papers of a guy who knows about a car that runs on chewing gum, but the Arabs rubbed him out. And we loudly warn that America is badly unprepared. The Cold War through, we need something new that can get you good and scared. You wonder just who is warning you of conspiracies today. We're the ones who fill the rumor mill. We are the CIA. Exonation. Now, Mark McCandlish is my special guest, www.markmccandlish.com. And, uh, Mark, uh, I understand that you're the technical advisor on a new book that's coming out that has a lot to do with chemtrails. Yes, in fact, it's already out. It's uh, called Crosswalk the Sun Thief by Kara St. Louis Farrelly. And uh, it's doing really well over in Europe right now, especially in Germany, where apparently they see a lot of this phenomenon. But uh, she needed someone who was knowledgeable about aircraft and some of the things that are associated with them in terms of condensation trails and the science behind chemtrails, which I've spoken on extensively. So, mm-hmm. so um, just just getting back to the uh, the flux craft. When do you think uh, the? Uh, no, there was a question I was going to ask you. The bases in the mountains that you talk about. Is it possible that what Kenneth Arnold actually saw were experimental craft as well that were kept in a um, a mountain uh, mountain air base? Well, it's certainly possible. I know that uh, if you if you look at the history of uh, things like the research that uh, Alfred Beefield mm-hmm. and Thomas Townsend Brown were doing into the Beefield Brown effect, which seems to be a kind of uh, levitation process associated with high voltage capacitors that uh, their initial discovery was done in the 1930s yeah. and uh, we know that Thompson, uh, Townsend Brown had uh, spent a lot of time trying to promote the the possibility of employing this technology in aircraft uh, from a very early time uh, although uh, no public disclosures regarding you know the development of the technology wherever made mm-hmm. it certainly seems to be validated in some of the eyewitness accounts of what you know the components in the ARV the alien reproduction vehicle are because they do in fact use uh, many banks of uh, high voltage plate capacitors hey mark as always when you're with us time just goes by so fast first of all thanks very much for being with with us you'll you'll have to come back on in the I near future it. because we still have so much to talk about 
and uh, keep up the great work. It's nice talking to you, and I Thanks wish you well. much success no matter which avenue you take, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Explanation. Mark McCandlish has been our guest this hour, www.markmccandlish.com. Now, I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the Exxon continues from our new broadcast center here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Once again, Mark McCandlish's website, www.markmccandlish.com. Don't go away. We'll be right back. 